What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel FC Barcelona Epics and these three players lads well I'll say Xavi and Eto I mean they're scary man they're scary their stats are absolutely insane we will get into Eto next uh, after Xavi and Viterbaia I mean two unreal players as it stands by themselves but we are going to get into them straight away so we're going to actually start with Xavi he is an 83 center midfielder, 83 overall center midfielder. He's an orchestrator. He's got unwavering form. Player skills, you're looking at double touch, soul control, heel trick, and cut behind and turn. Three of the most you know, powerful uh, skills and on-the-ball dribble skills that you could possibly want in any player anywhere. I mean, if a dribbler on the right wing or left wing has this, a prolific winger has this, you're going to be in heaven with this, um, especially heel trick and double touch. But the fact that Xavi has it as a CMF, with the passing he has, insane, right? He's also got one-touch pass, true pass and weighted pass, outside curler, and amazing run as his AI playing style with that unwavering form. He's on B rating, obviously, because he's an epic. And look at the stats, man, straight off the rip. This is what I'm talking about. Some of the players are just so ridiculously overpowered that they do need to strip it back for eFootball 2024, and I think keep, you know, a limit on, like, the ultimate versions of the players, right? So even looking at Xavi here, I mean, this card, apart from his acceleration and his offensive awareness, because we're going to be playing him as kind of like an AMF, I think genuinely, um, or, a, you know, an attack and center midfielder, I genuinely think that this card is good enough to slot straight into your team without training him up. Um, you know, the curl, low pass, tight possession, uh, everything is perfect, especially with the player skills, right? So when we actually take a look at Xavi here, and we take a look at his stats over on eFootball DB. This is how I would probably train him up, right? There is a couple of different ways to train him up, and I know that there is a higher overall that you can get with Xavi, but I genuinely think for the role we want to play him in our squad, if we do spin him, I will definitely be looking to, to employ him as kind of like my Pedri type player, you know? He's not going to be trying to win the ball back too much. Um, obviously, he doesn't have any defensive capabilities or any defensive player skills, stats, anything like that. Everything is below 70. I mean, obviously, we've got defensive engagement 67. We could train that up instead of a bit of pace. Um, you know, obviously, we could go to that route there and we could put eight into that to get a 70 tackling. But genuinely, I think for this option, this is how I would train him up, right? We're not really focused too much on the acceleration. I know people will say we don't need to make him this fast. And obviously, the speed is a bit of an issue as well. But speed is only an issue when you're chasing down. You know what I mean? It, it's not really an issue for a centre midfielder. All we're going to be using Javi for is touch and go. One touch pass, no matter if we're playing possession. We want the ball to stick to his foot when we actually pass it to him and dictate everything. So the speed at 72 and stamina at 80 is more than enough for a centre midfielder because we're not going to be playing him box to box. We're not going to be chasing and hassling and running and trying to get you know blocks in here and there. He's not going to be that type of player. So we have maxed out his dexterity to 12 points, not to get the acceleration up, but to get the 92 balance and to get the 80 offensive awareness because we don't want pulling him back defending. We don't want him to be anywhere near the defense. We want him to be just staying in the little pocket up in Lincoln midfield and strikers, right? Especially if we're playing a 4-4-2 or a 4-3-3, okay? So we're kind of going to be playing him a little bit more advanced offensively. Six into shooting. Again, we're not going to be shooting that many shots with him. We're going to be literally using this as curl. Low pass 92, lofted pass as 90, and curl at 90 is going to make a difference to those kind of outswinging balls when you're switching across. Now, again, this is how I would train him if you play a lot of out wide and if you play a lot of possession based football. If you wanted to quicken this up a little bit, we do not need as much dexterity. I think 75 into here. Probably 80 with the acceleration is more than enough if you're playing quick counter and if you're playing a lot of one-touch passing. And then I would boost up maybe this, maybe two more. I would take the shooting and probably a little bit back as well to four there. And then I would probably improve this a little bit just to get the lower body strength up, the speed 75 and the stamina 83. And then know probably how I'd want to play him if I was going to be keeping him in the pocket. I probably would upgrade his defending a little bit as well. Just give him a little bit of oomph in the middle of the pitch, especially for his defensive awareness and engagement. So the first option was for, you know, possession based, you know, keeping the ball moving. And this is kind of for somebody that you won't be shooting a lot with, but you still get that curl and you still get a lot of stuff going on with this Javi card. Insane. Two options there. Not going to spend too much time on Baye. Obviously, he's a good enough keeper for, you know, if you do spin him. But if you do spin him and you don't, you know, if you spin for this and you get him ahead of Eto'o or Xavi, I think you'd be very disappointed. 
because he does max out at a 90 reflexes and 88 jump, 80 clearing, 87 reach, 86 awareness and 85 catching. Not bad. He's a B defensive goalkeeper on B form. Uh, he's got a wavering form as well. Not bad at all. But the real prize of this pack, lads, is going to be Sammy Eto'o. And this guy is scary, man. He is a monster. He's absolutely... I mean, if I'm coming up against Eto'o, this is going to be a very scary version of a player to, to stop, right? And I know a lot of people are going to spin for him. Um, This is how I think Thierry Henry would be uh, if he was to be, you know, coming into the game, right? So we've three different versions of Eto'o. So the first version that we're going to show you here is literally going to be a run and gun, Right? We're going to be maxing out the dexterity, which will bring up the acceleration, the balance over 76, 77 it's going to be at, and the offensive awareness over 90, which is going to be 92, 12 points into that. We're also going to bring up his speed to 92 with the stamina to 84, because we're going to be doing a lot of running with him when we get the ball. We're going to kind of round this card out. This is the 98 version of the card that the auto allocation gives you. I think it's definitely not the, the, the best version of him, because I think you're less, you've got a little bit of dribbling issues there with this card, similar to the kind of uh, Oshman that was released uh, the Showtime Osherman, there's a bit of a difference with the way the dribbling works now, and I think tight possession is a hugely important stat now in V2.4, which is why some people won't be able to play with it at all, because the tight possession and balance with this auto allocate is going to be a problem, trust me. So, if we are going to be training him up, I would definitely uh, get you guys to consider this version of him, right? We've still got 88 finishing, we've got 3 into passing, which brings our low pass up to 70, and then we've got 92 offensive awareness, 97 acceleration, the same as the last build. But we've got 12 into dribbling, which brings our, our ball control and dribbling up to 87 and 87. We've also got higher type possession because of that. And we don't need it as much speed and stamina because we're going to be playing them in a very different way. So this version of Eto is only 96 overall, but I think he's a more well-rounded player if you're just looking for kind of a guy that can dribble a lot as well. Because if you're like me, you like to spin defenders, you like to do the odd trick here and there, you like to be able to take first-time shots, you like to be able to take curl shots, you know, long-driven shots, the stunning shots, and you like to, him to be able that when the ball is passed to him, with the way V2.4 gameplay is at the moment, the ball will stick to these guys' feet, and it's very hard to kind of get going again. You know, Haaland has that same issue, Oshman has that same issue, whereas with the likes of Romario and Mbappe, they're just gone, man, you know, and you need that advantage if you are going to be playing these upper, upper class guys, especially Samuel Eto'o. So that is another version of him. And then last but not least, I think this is probably my favorite version of him if I'm not really taking dribbling into consideration at all. Well, he's my favorite version of him in terms of if somebody trains him up like this, which some people will, I wouldn't worry too much about it. You're going to be maxing out acceleration and offensive awareness. Finishing is going to be 94. So you're going to have 99 acceleration, 94 offensive awareness, 94 finishing, 70 low pass, 80 stamina, 88 speed. Now, as I said, lads, the dribbling is going to be a big concern here if you like to dribble a lot with your center forwards. With this guy, with this version here and this version, right, I would genuinely... Um, kind of like train these guys for quick counter you know the auto allocate there you're not paying too much attention to dribbling i think this is a better version of him but this one is like the ultimate meta tree up top using pure blister and pace and speed and then having the 94 finishing as well you need to be shooting the minute you get the ball with a toe running onto a lot of tap-ins cutbacks you know getting into the box with that high offensive awareness if you play a little bit more football and you play a bit of possession, you play out wide, this is the version for you. Now, look, you could go back down. I like to kind of hit that little mark there of 75 type possession, but you could go back down on two and still have very good ball control and dribbling there. And depending on your play style, you can pump that up. You know, you could actually improve the passing if you wanted to. You can improve the speed if you wanted to. You could also improve, if you wanted to, the dexterity to get it to 98. There's a lot of ways to train Sammy Eto'o, lads. He is an absolute monster. But those are the three versions I would definitely recommend. So we will be getting a look at him later, hopefully spinning for him and hopefully getting him. But until next time, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, the training guides, and I will talk to you in a bit. Let me know if you're going to spin or skip. I think Sammy Eto'o could be broken, lads, genuinely. We will talk to you in a bit.